way the room is set up, the way books are arranged, supplies are provided, and how we use different spaces, all these make a crucial difference in the way kids learn. We create an environment that inspires kids to think, imagine, and act. When we set up a literate environment, we put a lot of thought into room arrangement. We create comfortable meeting places where kids can sit up close as we model instruction. Desks and clusters or tables where they can practice and work are scattered throughout. We create large spaces on the floor for kids to spread out and work together or alone. We build in space for small group instruction, and we design quiet places where kids can work independently. Materials and resources are easily accessible to promote independent work. When we provide instruction, we need kids up close and personal so they can focus on our teaching and their learning. Clipboards act as portable desks so kids can interact with us, with each other, and with the text. Materials are readily available. Markers, pencils, glue, and other supplies are kept in multiple locations to foster kids' independence. We create a culture of abundance, not scarcity, so kids' expression is never delayed by a hunt for tools. Post-its are a tool for kids to quickly capture and hold their thinking. The small size seems to be liberating. Where kids may write just a few words or lines in a notebook, they easily cover multiple post-its. We encourage children to use jumbo post-its for their drawing and art and smaller ones for their writing. We also use post-its to scribe what kids say when they cannot yet write on their own. And we often have kids think through ways to organize their post-its to summarize and synthesize learning. When books are organized in a logical and inviting way, kids can easily find the books they want to read. For primary kids, one of the most accessible arrangements is to have assorted baskets of books right on top of their work tables, so kids can reach out and grab a great book without even having to get out of their chairs. And we teachers needn't do all the arranging ourselves. Kids love to organize the books in their classroom, categorizing them by genre, topic, and author. In classrooms that promote active literacy, Halls and walls teach. They burst with examples of kids' thinking and understanding. They showcase student writing, drawing, and art, so everyone can learn from it. Children love working big and are excited to share what they have learned on large charts and posters. At the beginning of the school year, teachers do not fill the walls with commercial posters. Instead, they leave plenty of space for kids' emerging work, which gradually creates learning walls instead of conventional bulletin boards.